Right, man. So Ravens flock, Ravens nation, man. What's good, flock nation? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Um, I'm just gonna get into the media news because I'm gonna share more of what I've been upset about lately in the video. But uh, yeah, shouts out to Jason Beer Paul. I said this when we first brought him in. Uh, we bring him in. We're definitely Super Bowl bound. I know, I know it's tough to even see happening the way the team crumbled in that Miami game. But I can assure you, having a player like that on the defense and a player like Lamar on the offense, something got to shake. Something got to shake. I don't have no faith in McDonald right now. I don't. So, to me, again, I don't think we can lose in this type of situation like this. Yes, we can lose out on the Super Bowl, but I'm just saying, on some real shit, if we don't have success after doing all these moves this year, you can't tell me John don't ain't, ain't going. You can't tell me that. When, when somebody says, I don't want you to feel like... I have to use the word lame duck because that's the exact words Bashadi used. Biscoff cookies. If, when somebody tells you they don't want you to feel like you're on a lame duck situation, that tells me you really know what you need to do. You just don't want to do it because you don't want to hurt their feelings. That's what, that's what that tells me. That's what that's saying. So, you can't tell me he ain't, he ain't on a chopping block if he don't get it right this year. I'm tired of blaming Roman. I'm tired of blaming uh, 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 McDonald. He just got here. And I'm tired of blaming him. I'm tired of blaming Wink. I'm tired of blaming uh, 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 Peas. I'm tired of blaming uh, 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 fuck, Morning Wig. I don't want to go back into Joe years. It's too many to count. How many do we got to go through? But, <laughs> I done went off task. I done went off task. I done got started. So so let me bring it back. Let me bring it back. That's how that's how hot I am still off this shit. So let me bring it back. Jason Pierre Paul. We going we going bring him back in. I've been said a while ago. We can run we can go to the Super Bowl once we get him. We need him. We need somebody like him. Who can't be stopped on the defense. He can't be held. He's an animal, yo. You got you anytime. First off, when the flock, when they bring you, when the front office brings somebody in and they go to the castle, it's a high likelihood of them getting signed. When they don't sign, it's because they wanted to, didn't want to, or because they passed the physical, didn't pass the physical. Or the numbers wasn't right, of course, but that's still going on with they didn't want to. So to bring him back again, he got to get something, man. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. John, I want to end this segment on that. So shout out to Jason Pierre Paul. We just wait till the news is official, but I'm going to re research the clip again. Another flashback. I ain't done with the John flashbacks. Another flashback. But um John, you making nine million a year, bro. I just found it out. You making nine million a year, bro. The same as Kyle and you and you coaching like Kyle. You got put on a lame duck. That's what it is. You got put on a lame duck contract. If Bashadi had any uh, cojones, if he had any, 
he would have fired your ass after last season. He would have fired your ass when Joe left. But you still here. You know, once upon a time, I remember, John, you sat Lamar down where he could have made history game after game because we had to leave. You're not, you're not that type of coach, John. And, and if you are, you only go this hard for when it's somebody of your personal preference. I think if it was up to you, John, you would have never drafted Lamar. You would have never drafted Lamar, bro. Joe would still be here if it was up to you. Is that why Ozzy stepped down? Because he knew how much control you was having? Eric DaCosta always looked like he's sweating, nervous. You know, you said last year, 2021, when we played the Dolphins, when we lost to the Dolphins. That's on me. That's on coaching. We weren't prepared. Now this game, you said, oh, it can't happen. That shouldn't happen. How many more situations do we got to go through and you just going to keep saying the same shit? Speaking of same shit, you literally had a press conference this year, this offseason, and said, change. We need we need to... to create change. Not those exact words, but we need change. Not change who we are, but you know, change a few things. All in all, this is this is your words. All in all, this is and I quote, it's the mentality of the defense. These are the same uh, 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 schemes we've been running through the defense. These are the same practices. These are the same. So the fact that you came out there in, in a press conference and sat there and said they know better. So they just came out there and just was on bullshit. The players came out there and just all, all on bullshit. Just forgot everything. They forgot everything. Forgot basics. You know what that sounds like to me? You only doing that to them because if they speak out, they are, they in your doghouse. You couldn't find nobody else to blame, but you blame the rookies. How about you blame Eric DaCosta for letting go Anthony Avery, the only one who locked down Tyreek Hill? Tavon Young, we could have kept them all for depth. We could have kept them for depth. They didn't sign for more elsewhere. We could have kept them for depth. Everybody was tripping off Avery, but he was the only one who locked up uh, Tyreek Hill. Couldn't get him to stay. But we keep Ben Mason. We keep Pat Ricard and sign him to an extension. He's not even a focal point on the offense. Why the fuck is he with us? Why we got only like the only team using a fullback? What is the point of that? If you really want change, it needs to start with you, John. You need to go. Because you're not going to change. You are who you are. You are where you are right now because of Lamar. You ain't have to coach Lamar. You can't even coach a fourth quarter game. With a lead.
We got slapped the, the fuck up by Dolphins last year. And then Sunday, we get told, meet us outside the school at 3 o'clock. It's on again. Uppercut them. Right hook. Jab, jab. And turned around and put our hands up in the air and started talking shit to the crowd. Got that real quick tap on the shoulder like Martin. (laughs) And got kicked out the fucking ring. Knocked out the fucking ring. And all the best you could say in regards to it is they know better. It's a learning lesson. How many ass whoopers we got to go through on your watch? How many leads need to get blown on your watch? How many fourth quarter games need to go down to meltdown? How many fourth quarter meltdowns we need to have before you learn your lesson? He's a shit talking motherfucker. Then y'all get mad at me because I'll talk my shit. Are we really that fucked up? Mentally, I ain't gonna say we. I say we. We just allow this motherfucker to get away with everything. I mean, I can do only do but so much but getting the word out. But can nobody make the calls except Bashadi or Eric DaCosta? And how much can can you rely on them? To hold people accountable if they are fucking friends. And we hear the cliche all the time. You can't miss friends with business. What well, these motherfuckers is doing it. And they don't see a problem with it. Yet we lose. We are setting records and losing. How the fuck do you do that? How do you set a record in losing? Normally, it's just a loss. You got your ass whooped. How do you set a record in losing? And this ain't the first time. This ain't the first time the crazy part. Yo, Biscoff cookies, bro. I tried to give you the respect by not even going in on you. But it's no fucking way in the world. How are you an owner of a team? And you don't pay attention to shit like this. Eric DaCosta, how are you the general manager of a team and you're not paying attention to shit like this? We set a record for losing Sunday. We got our ass whipped again by the same team. 2021. And lost the same exact way by the hands of the defense in the Packers game. And we got a new defensive coordinator. We could have kept Wink for all this. You could have promoted Rob Ryan over all this. If Ozzy can step down, John, you can step down, bro. On some real shit. You ain't putting nowhere near as much work as Ozzy did. You can step down, bro. I, I respect you more if you did that. On some real shit, John. I respect you more if you did that, man. We bought. Ben, we picked Ben Mason. We picked the 2021 draft, right? We picked Ben Mason. Sean Wade, who's a corner, who's no longer on the team. They, we never even got a real story on why the fuck he ended up off the team. 
Never. And now here we are looking for a fucking corner. Brandon Stevens, he's okay. He's better than Shockey Brown. I'll go that far. He's better than Shockey Brown. So, and Sharice Wright, I'll say that much. But let's be real. That whole fucking draft meant nothing other than Bateman. I fuck with Oway, man. But somebody's not some somebody isn't uh uh teaching him what he needs to be taught in order to be great. Cause he should have more pass rush moves than what he be doing. Unless the team unless the office is double teaming him. I don't know. John, you making nine million dollars a year though, bro. You know who you making more than, but you're not better than? Mike Tomlin. Steelers fans. I ain't, I ain't talk shit about y'all in over a year probably. Maybe individual players, but I ain't talk shit about the Steelers in a while. I would rather have Mike Tomlin any day of the fucking week than John Harbaugh. John, you getting paid nine. I would gladly pay Tomlin nine million to coach his team. You let's let's ask this. Steelers fans, would y'all take John Harbaugh as y'all coach? I'm just curious. Not that it's Steelers fans watching this, but I'm just saying for sake of conversation. Do y'all think a Steelers fan would take John Harbaugh over Tomlin? Because if they wouldn't, why the fuck are we keeping him? What are we holding on to? What are we missing out on? We're going to get where we need to get regardless with Lamar. That was the one thing Hollywood said that was true. We're going to get to where we need to be at because of Lamar. Not because of coaching. At the end of the day, John, you don't deserve your spot. You didn't work hard for that job, but yet you're always making these shirts about working hard and all this and that. You didn't work hard for your position, bro. You didn't put no grind in. You didn't get it from no muscle. You got it from a friend. And you want to talk shit on the fucking rookies? Leave that up to us. Leave that up to Ravens flock. You want to talk shit on the rookies y'all drafted? How about you talk shit on the fucking staff that you hired for not having them ready? When was y'all? When would when, 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 when would have been a perfect time to step in and tell them y'all are playing like shit? Step it up. We about to lose this game. When would have been the right time after the second touchdown, after the third touchdown, after the fourth touchdown, after the fifth touchdown? Or after the six. The least y'all can do is hire Jason Pierre Paul. That's the least you can do. That's the least you can do. If you ain't gonna fire this motherfucker, John, Eric, if you ain't gonna fire this motherfucker, Biscoff Cookies. Biscotti cookies. The least y'all can do is bring in Jason Pierre Paul. The least, the bare minimum. Cause I want John Head on the on a platter, bro. I do. I do. I don't want no A1 sauce. 
I don't want no steak on the side. I don't want no fries on the side. I don't want no mac and cheese. I just want raw. I'm going vegan. Put giant head on a platter. Make it vegan. And give me a Roman shake. With a McDonald cherry on top. If they don't get it right come next Sunday because that should be a win they don't talk about Mac Jones at all I don't know why not that he's good I'm just saying why would they talk about him but they be talking about all these other QBs young QBs they don't talk about Mac no more even though he was highly recruited coming out of uh, college so I'm not convinced I'm not even gonna get ahead right now we I'm still gonna let this uh, Miami Dolphins game simmer for a while I ain't done. I ain't done. I, I'm only started part one of John Harbaugh. Uh, Har Harbaugh. Harry Bull. Harry Ball. John Harry Ball. You know what I'm saying? I only started part one of it, so I'm going to get another part two coming. Uh, Ravens Flock, Ravens Nation, man. <sighs> Bring it. Sign Jason Pierre Paul get the jersey ready, please, please. please. It's, it's been overdue. This was supposed to happen in the summer. Please get it done now. Stop dragging your feet. It's, it's redundant. But yeah, we were supposed to change things. Yeah, this this is the mentality. Whatever, man. Man, Ravens Flock, Ravens Nation, man. Y'all protect your energy out here, man. Uh holler at y'all the next one. Ravens Flock, Ravens Nation, Flock Nation, I'm out.